When I look back at this, what will be in my memory? I think it will be the volunteers and the atmosphere that's been created here and this magic that we've all done. It gave me a real sense of purpose and I think that's probably quite similar for most people who are here. She's been able to bring together um, people from the fashion industry, volunteers, all sorts of people from the community and turn them into professionals. Having read about the shortages of PPE, I feel that it's really great that we're able to offer what is necessary. You know, literally everything that we're making here is being used from one place straight from the workshop into a hospital ward. The drapes come in boxed up, we take them out. Using a pattern, we cut them out into arms and bodies. These then move down to two sewing rooms which we have on the middle floors. The process there is attaching the arms to the bodies and then moves to the next room where the side seams are done. And then in the room next door, we have the folding room where they're packaged and delivered back to the trust. I think it's one of the few opportunities in life where fashion can actually be a skill that can contribute to helping people stay safe. So it was really a no-brainer to come and join this little group of volunteers. The team have organised this so that we're really using every valuable second of every day. So it seems like time extremely well spent. It's been amazing to see how people whose, whose job this isn't normally to be able to produce really amazing things in times of need. You want to be part of the community and you want to be giving something back at such a difficult time for everyone. They came from all different walks of life. We had a professor of finance, we had an optician, a dentist, stylist, designers, lots of people had been furloughed. They were desperate to help. Many people were professional sewers, others weren't, but we needed all sorts of people. We needed cutters, we needed sewers, we needed packers, folders, and it was a great team effort. On the first day when we were tasked with doing this, we couldn't imagine how many gowns we would complete. And after the 10 week period, we completed 30,410. This is a huge achievement. I wanted to say a huge thank you to the volunteers who contributed to provide to our hospital so many gowns. We wanted to make sure that our staff was safe to look after patients and safe to continue to deliver an excellent service. It may seem like such a small, small thing, but for all of us, when we were right in the midst of it all, it made every difference in the world. So thank you very much.